is everyone doing today? It's Monday morning and the start of a brand new week. I got woken up, woken up this morning by the cutest video that Daddy took of this one who's going crazy this morning last night. He was a little monkey after his bath last night. I think I actually vlogged, if Chris included it in the vlog, can you not? Where he was asleep. <laughs> I don't know what you're wincing for. You ain't got no hair. <laughs> I don't know if Chris included it in the vlog, but it was basically when we got back from been out last night, Jace was fast asleep in his car seat. It was about an hour, 45 minutes before bedtime. So I was unsure whether to wake him for his bath and his nighttime routine or if just if to just put him down. It turns out that Prinny barked or got a bit too giddy running around and woke him up anyway. So we popped him in the bath and then just was like, keep everything quiet and calm, pop him in bed and then go to sleep. Well, I was wrong. He did not go to sleep and he did not want to go to sleep either. Obviously that 20, that 20 minute power nap that he had was just enough to keep him awake. So Chris said, I tell you what, you get yourself off to sleep and I'll take him downstairs and play with him for an hour and see if I can tire him out. And did he tire you out? Because I woke up this morning, <laughs> Jace. Gosh, I woke up this morning to the cutest video of Jace saying, Dada! You said Dada! You are such a clever boy! Say Dada! <coughs> Say Dada! If you didn't watch yesterday's video, you ha have to go back and watch it because it's so cute. I also think it's so obviously everybody thinks their own baby is like the best and clever and awesome and advanced but I'm sure the girls didn't say dada until about seven months. Jace is five and a half months. Will it be six months this week? He'll be six months this week and I can't believe he can get his, obviously mama is much easier because you don't even move your tongue, you're just like ma 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 ma. But dada, if you say it yourself, you have to push the tongue to your top. There's technique in saying dada. And I can't believe he's doing it already. And it was proper like dada. It was so cute. So I'm just waiting for Jane to get here. Me and her are going up to Ikea today because Oh my goodness, the most exciting thing. I have not been this excited about something in a long, long time. I found an office that I love. So last week, me and Jane went and viewed three offices, like office spaces, for a new project that I've been working on and also to store some of our merchandise and things because we're doing our merchandise ourselves now and I just want some, I want it out of the house, somewhere safe, that we can go and do it rather than everything we do being at home because then you just, you never, like stop take a break or stop thinking i kind of want to keep them separate i feel like for my own like mental health at the moment i need to keep things separate so i don't want boxes and merchandise and packaging things all in my dining room and we've got no other storage in this house other than the garage and i don't want them outside in the garage because then there's a chance that they could get damp and ruined for you guys and i would never want that so anyway we're getting an office space and i found one on friday and chris said to me go for it i wanted to run by him first but he said just go for it if it's what you want go for it so i'm gonna ring up today and pay um, the deposit and the one month, the one month, um, whatever you've got to pay, the fees that you've got to pay. So I want to go to IKEA to have a quick look around, see if I can get some storage bits and bats. And um, today's the only day I can do that. I've got a really busy week this week. Don't we, little man? Did I scare you? Then? Oh, I just spit. That's gross. Sorry, darling. We're just about to set off, but I had to show you how cute Jay's looks in this really cute, look like cool hat, bubble hat that we got sent. Oh, he's not happy though. He's like, Mama, it's too hot for this hat today. Take it off. And it is. It's too hot, so we'll take it off. Oh my gosh, I love that so much. It looks so cute. So we're just in Ikea right now in the storage section. And I thought this would be fun, but I feel so stressed. <laughs> we're just trying to work out what I need and what I don't need and what I want and what we need to buy, but what I've already got at home, for example, I think this would be a really good unit for um, something that I need to go on <laughs> but we've already got like three of these at home and we don't actually use one of them also we're doing some moving around in our home at the minute I want to move Isabel up to the top playroom because she just needs more space I feel like her bedroom's way too small for um it was fine but I just feel like now she needs more space as so I want to move her to the top floor with the massive big bedroom and then move the playroom down to her room so the sofa will be down there and the one of those one of those units also will be down there with the girls toys in but we won't have space in her bedroom to fit two of those units and we have 
two plus some more so that frees up one of those so there's no point buying another one if we're going to have one of those free but i also need some storage space for other things like paperwork pack postage and packaging invoices and all that receipts and all those funky stuff and i'm just stood around looking feeling a little bit lost yeah those are actually quite nice jane jane's pointing at these it's kind of the same thing but small but then if we were to buy like drawers would it be organized though i feel like it'll just look, look, end up looking like my kitchen drawer you know the kitchen drawer that you always have at home that's just full of rubbish and you can't find anything because you never want to go through it i don't know maybe we'll go around to office supplies and see if there's anything around there more i'm like a filing cabinet type thing yeah maybe there'll be more around in the office section so we've moved on a little bit and we've come across a couple of things i thought were quite cool laundry i quite like the, yeah, these are laundry fit no these are like bin things but i quite like these and um, they're like plastic little boxes and i thought these would be good to like fill with pop sockets really easy i could just put on the name here like the ingham family pop sockets and then another one like hashtag i fan pop sockets and then whenever i needed one just literally grab one and take them away but jane said they're a bit bulky maybe for the like for the office might just be a bit bulky just sat there on the floor so i don't think i'll get them today i think i might just think about it and wait and see because i could put the pop sockets in a container on the unit that i just showed you but we've also just found this like for paperwork and things i don't know i quite like it but again it's it's drawers again isn't it and i'm not sure how many how many drawers do we need for receipts <laughs> so we just found something else that we thought might be quite useful and it's these trays like trolley tray type things i'm not sure if to go for black or white probably go for white but um, i thought these would be cool to st bless you little boy <laughs> you would be so good you want to get oh my gosh jace oh my gosh what are you doing <laughs> Okay. Letting us know he's not wanting to sit in that pram. Anyway, yeah, we thought this would be good for paper That's a and bits and I'm not really too sure what to be honest, but I'm sure we'll make use of these, won't we? It's like amazing here. I just came around the corner and found these units, which are only ten pound. Instead of getting the forty pound trolley thing, this is literally the same thing with the big trays where I can put paper in. It is a little bit smaller. There's only oh no, it's not. They it's still got three trays. I could buy two of these though for the price of one trolley have i just broke that great <laughs> so we just came around to the baby section and you might think i'm crazy when i tell you this but I found a baby changing station that I think would be perfect for the office. No, not to change Jason whilst he's there, but to use as a packing station. So somewhere that's high up, kind of, so we're not bending over all the time and where we can put our envelopes and our things to package out and it all be in one place. And I think this, which is actually a changing station, would be pretty perfect. So we've got drawers here for all the packaging envelopes. You choose the drawers, yeah. For all the packaging envelopes, probably two deep ones rather than two thin ones. Boxes here for labels and etc. etc. And then this unit here, which obviously we'd be able to stand at. It's at like height, so we don't need to bend over and package everything up. It's perfect. It's a baby changing unit, but it's perfect. How much is it? 125. I think that would be so no, perfect. Just in the corner, just in the corner you know of the where, office. Where the chair is at the moment. Yeah, where the chair is. There and then yeah yeah like am i gonna buy <laughs> literally a baby changing unit well, for my office to... it would be perfect wouldn't it we've been looking for a packing changing station packing packing station that's not massive but i don't need drawers like that now i need two deep ones but i come to the baby section anyway to look for this for jace i've been looking for a high chair for him and loads and loads and loads of people recommend this one just because it's super super oh my gosh that is so cute I might have to get him that as well because it's super easy to clean it looks really nice and it's 12 pounds so i'm going to get him this and then i didn't know that this was a thing what is this uh oh my god that's to make it more comfortable that is oh i'm getting that as well that looks great i'm getting this too because that's just the cutest thing i ever did see I've got no idea how this happens but before you know it it's morning time you nip to the shop and then you're like, oh my gosh, we need to even get home, it's school home time. Anyway, we just finished up in Ikea. It's about 2 p.m. so we need to pack this all up and get off to pick up Isla from school. Jane, are you ready for a game of Tetris? 
because <laughs> we're gonna have to play Tetris to get all this in the car with the pram and everything. Who are you shouting at, little man? Who are you, you could miss? You made good job. I bought you some new bibs. Yum, 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 yum. Chew it nicely. <laughs> all managed to fit in the, but I think we did better without the men here, Jane. Well, we did it so much calmer. There was no arguing, no stress, and everything just slotted in the boot perfectly. Now we have to set off and go and pick up Isla from school. So we just got back. Oh my gosh, it's loud in here. Just got back from the school run with these two beauties. Isabel's gone out to her friends for dinner tonight, which is really nice. And the girls have just come in and said, what are these packages? Please can we open them? So they're going to open them now. One of you guys very kindly sent them. If you watched yesterday's vlog, you probably already know. But I opened the other package and these came in. And I didn't want to open them because they're the girls. So they're about to open them right now. No drama llama. No drama llama. I love llamas, don't you? Favorite animal in the world. Is it? Llamas? You do, don't you? What's inside? What's inside? They look awesome. You'll be able to put them on your desk upstairs, won't you? Yeah. You two go and sort that out then right now. And I'm going to let Greeny, you want to go outside? Hey. Jace used to be able to roll over and then he put weight on and now he has trouble just like me. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. No, I'm done. I'm done. Say mum, 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 mum. <laughs> Poor kid. It's like he's got Chris in one ear, da 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 da, and me in the other ear, ma 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 ma, and Granny in the other ear, gr 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 gr, and there's me, yeah 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 yeah. What did Esme call me? What did Esme call Granny Jace? Come on, you can do it. Come on, clever boy. That's it. <laughs> like a little koala bear. because it's just me and the little two this evening as well as granny we've decided to come out to Mor you okay? yeah. we've decided to come out to Morrison's for dinner because we're living the high life <laughs> I actually love Morrison's for dinner we've not been here in absolutely ages but if you watched our vlogs when we first started vlogging we came here quite well not all the time but often because it's so cheap you can literally a family of four can eat for like nine pound it's amazing so we thought we'd do that this evening literally feel like i'm sat here two teenagers all the phones are away now aren't they hey <laughs> isla's gone for sausage with mash and peas and a yorkshire isla i actually kind of wish i'd gone for a kid's meal like that because that looks delicious mine looks bigger than yours it does this is probably my first adult meal in morrison's <laughs> Esme went for gammon. I only went for it for the gammon and the egg. 
<laughs> and the beans. He was like, I want the beans. Granny went for egg on toast and I went for chips and, well, there, I went for that. Now that dinner's all done, the girls are tucking in to dessert. They've got a fruit salad, which we're gonna share with Jace. But I just had to film because I cannot believe the size on these blueberries. They're like, no, they're bigger than the grapes. They're massive. I have never in my whole life seen blueberries. But as the big as these. But size are literally but the size of a raisin. You're never gonna see them again. <laughs> <laughs> I can't really believe sweet. how big they they're are. Really sweet and they're not sour at all. They're just humongous. <laughs> Have you had a nice dinner? Would you like some blueberries? Hey, let's cut it up for you. into some strawberry. It's such a shame I don't have like a tray I can put all the little bits on because it's trying to fit like he's trying to get it out of my hand but I can't give you it that big. I'll break it up for you. <laughs> I could break it up and put it on the tray. <laughs> it would be easy wouldn't it? Yum 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 yum. You like strawberry? <laughs> Clever boy. I just got back home after going out for some dinner. I'm back now and I'm just about to get myself into the shower. So I'll see you guys after one, two, three. And I'm all just out of the shower. Just got my hair dried. Well, I say dried, the ends of it are still a little bit wet, but I've just dried my hair and I'm about to have some chill out time. So we just got back from a very successful day on the blades. Although any day that you walk home uninjured is a successful day on the blades, but today was a bit of a nightmare. Started off in Manchester, it was wet. Started off in Leeds, it was wet. And we got some good stuff done, and I had some very funny falls. Probably gonna throw them in about now, so y'all can laugh at them. <laughs> but I just got back, just in time to say goodnight to everybody, which is very, very nice. Sarah's just currently feeding Jace on the floor, we very playing. randomly. We were playing. But as Sarah will have shown you guys, she went out to Ikea today to buy lots of new office supplies, which is very cool. But she also bought a high chair for a little man. So we're gonna set that up right now and see if he likes it. Jace! Jace, what's this? Jace! One, two, three! You big boy! This is the nicest high chair, and I cannot believe how cheap it was. It's perfect! Perfect for big boy! Clever boy! <laughs> He's like, right, give me the food. <laughs> it actually about. looks so comfy for him as well. That's so cute! I actually cannot believe we spent, how much did we spend? 100, 120 high on high chairs oh, yeah. for the girls. Yeah. Must no no we're not Oh Daddy No No He's it. already had two of those today. Oh, no. Yeah, his favourite though. Anyway, yeah, we must have spent about 120 pounds at least on high chairs for the girls and they were so irritating to try and clean. Remember how I used to sit there with a toothbrush? Yeah, they always get yogurts and bits. Trying to get out. Yeah, like yogurt and crisps and That's bits so. and bats in all the grooves and I remember sitting there with toothbrushes trying to clean them. Not with this one! Not with this one! Look, he's like, Dana, what are you doing? I had one of these already. You already had one. Had so. one. Prinny's is about to lick all the... Pr this is Prinny's new home. Which comes Un underneath <laughs> Jace's <high> chair. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love it. It's so nice. It's I'm actually lovely, so lovely chuffed. Boy. You can buy this high chair for like £9 if you don't want the tray. Nine pound, and it's only an extra three pound for the tray because you buy it all in bits. I love it. You're gonna have so much yummy food in there. <laughs> Is that funny? She's silly. She's your mummy, silly.
Time to go splish splash in a bath. Is it time for bath? Cause daddy said. Is that no man? No. <laughs> you put me in this chair and you gave me a soggy crisp. I want food. Ow, you're nutting me. <laughs> 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 